Hello and welcome. I am Scarverlock and this is House Flipper. Let's continue our game. We are doing the career mode where we are taking a bunch of missions. We started with a mess of a house, but as you can see, I have mowed the lawn. And I got some leveling up done so that in terms of the lawn mowing, gardening, I now have weeds visible on the minimap. So we've got a lot of that. We need to remove 115 weeds, exterminate three moles, which we haven't done yet, mow for six more minutes, or plant 15 more plants in order to get the next level. Um, what is this? I, I cleaned everything. So one of the things I noticed was there was some dirt up here that was resisting my ability to broomstick it. And that is because outdoors we now can clean the house with the garden hose. And those things required the garden hose. Now it seems like there's still something dirty in here. I could have sworn I took care of this. Let's see. Let's close the door here. We're right over here in the corner. I guess there's some dirt down here. I don't know what's going on. There it is. We got it, whatever it was. So it was just under here. Um, we've renovated our bathroom. We have renovated the inside of our house. We've actually made it quite nice. And now we're going to continue with our missions. There's a whole bunch of these missions. We could ignore them and start selling houses, but one of the things I think the missions are eventually going to teach us to do is um, sell to people and give them what they want. So, let's see. Um, playground barbecue, this is gardening stuff. Let's try... Clean up the house, please. I like cleaning up. A few days ago, I brought a house at an extremely bargain price. The price was influenced by two factors. For months, nobody wanted to buy it, and certain unwanted guests lived there for a while. I am talking about a man who moved in and stayed there unnoticed for a few days before he was found by the police. This guy made quite a mess during his short stay. Trash and newspapers everywhere. An identified substance, ew, covers most of the floor, and seems someone threw up on the fridge. Why would you throw up on a fridge? Being a person who rejects the sight of the current state of the house, I kindly request you to clean the house. I'd also ask you to solve some problems with the electricity. So let's go ahead and clean this house up. It's nighttime now. So we're going to need our light. F turns on the flashlight. And let's head... Oh my gosh, you can even see the windows look horrible. And I hear the cockroaches. Let's pull out the vacuum cleaner and start vacuuming. Look at these cockroaches right there. Alright, well that takes care of some of them. We're going to have to get rid of the garbage first to get rid of more of them. Hopefully the cockroaches aren't grossing too many of you out. Alright, now, uh, let's see, vacuum. So the cockroaches have a nest, and after you've cleaned up enough of them, you've destroyed the nest, essentially. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do this without moving the furniture, but we'll see. And we have destroyed the cockroach nest. Very good. All right, so let's clean up. And you can see there's just so much dirt everywhere. Can we turn the light on? Yes. Does the light not work? Maybe a fuse is blown. Ah, we can fix that. Um, so let's... Keep cleaning. Getting rid of some of this dirt. Man, look what is all over this place. Look at how disgusting. And this guy was in here for a few days, they said. Man, he sure made a mess for a few days. I would not want to walk into a house like this in real per in real life. This would just gross me out. I'd be, like, in the corner puking. <laughs> Alright, look at footprints. We're managing to get most of it, it looks like. There's some here. We're taking care of all that. And here. 
What a mess. All right, we're going to clean the windows. As before, we will open the windows when we're done. So we know we've got those windows cleaned. And now we have to clean the chair. And there's some dirt over here where this guy threw up. And we have done all of that. One more window to clean. Ah, right there. And one of the things I want to do is go down to the basement and fix the blown fuse. So that we can... There's the basement. All right, so let's go down. All right, and clean up all the garbage down here. And there are more cockroaches. And there's the fuse box. Let's assemble. Let's see. Looks like our electrical outlet is fixed. Our electric or our fuse box is fixed. So that means we should have light now. There we go. So we don't need quite so much of our headlights going, right? And look at all these cockroaches. This is really gross. But that's what you sign up for when you're a house renovator. Move this out of the way and keep vacuuming. Are there more cockroaches? We've destroyed the cockroach nest. Okay, so now we're going to sweep and sweep. And we have to repair the electrical outlet and we might have to repair the dryer and the washer as well. Or do we need to get rid of that? Clean there, destroy the cockroach since we've only destroyed one of two. So there's another cockroach nest, or we destroyed them both. Okay. There's more dirt. There we go. And there's dirt all over the ceiling. Man, look at all that. That is just gross. There we go. So we've got that taken care of. Lots of dirt on the ceiling. As you can see, when you aim the white dot, that's the thing that gets cleaned. Right? So when we're down on the wall with the white dot, we clean what's on the wall. When we're up at the top, we clean what's on the ceiling. Okay, we can put the shelf back. And now we just need to repair the electrical outlet. And then we are done with the basement. And there we go. And we screw these in. I wish it was like this easy to actually do home repairs. It's a lot harder than this in real life, but that's okay. All right. So we're done down here. We can turn the light off and go back upstairs. All right, and now we can turn the light on in here, which is, makes it nicer. And this is the backyard. We don't have to do anything out there. Electrical outlet. So we're going to fix that. So the, uh, the guy who lived here for a few days managed to destroy the electrical outlets and leave all that trash. Very, very gross. All right, so we've completed this repair here. And we're good. And we don't need this door anymore, so let's see. Whoa. We've done that in here. 
Okay, lots of garbage. Turn the light on. And clean the window. It's actually easier to see the window dirt at night, I think, than during the day. Clean that window. And now we need our broom to clean the dirt. This is very enjoyable. I don't know why, it just is. Can't explain it, just love doing it. Let's close the door so we can get in behind the door. And actually, the door is dirty. Look at that. We've now done enough that we can get paid. But we want to finish. Back to the broom. 92% and there. And where else? Seems like there's something here. There. It's gonna be really hard to get in there. Okay, we got that. So we're 99%, what did I miss? Did I miss something back here? How am I at 99% dirt? That's really weird. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything, so we'll come back after we've done everything else. Okay, bathroom, always gross. Turn the light on. Start by cleaning. There we go. It would be so nice, would it not, if you could just clean everything with a broom. I feel like that shower may need to go. So we've cleaned all but dirt over here. And we need to remove the trash. That's that we had to dispose of, and now we need to install a shower. Here, shower, multiple shower, bye now. There we go, and let's assemble it. And now I'm getting used to this enough that I remember most of the steps. So we got our drain done. Now we gotta click that first and then this, I think. There we go. And we screw these in. We mount the faucets, or the knobs, I guess. And then we put the panels on the side in and screw them down. And screw in a handle. There we go. This is a really soothing game. I've said that before. It's quite nice. I think the graphics are great. And the UI is quite nice for the most part. And they do a really nice job of having you do enough that you feel like you're doing it without doing so much that you're like, oh, I hate this. Shower's done, bathroom's done. Now we still have this room over here. So remove the trash. Trash done, and now we need to clean with the broom. Oh gosh, just dirt, grime all over everything. They did a really good job, by the way, I think with the graphics for the dirt and the grime. It definitely makes it look gross. You definitely are like, this is disgusting. It looks terrible, and then when you clean it up, hey, it looks pretty good. Why will it not get that? There we go. Got 
Some by the door, close the door. Some on the floor. And there's some on the bed, right? Make the bed, okay. Dirt here. And now we gotta clean the windows. Very nice. And then the second window. There we go. And we have completed the job. We're going to get 7,000 bucks for this, guys. Complete. Look what a difference. That is just awesome. What a difference. I really like these before and after shots. Very nice. It definitely looks a lot better. All right. Look at that, the windows are clean and open and everything's good. So we've got a great portfolio now. We go back to our ho house, our home, our little shack. Use a shovel to remove the mole hills. A mole dug its way into the lot. Use a shovel to remove the mole hills, but be careful the malicious mole will create new ones if you don't find him. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. I wonder how you kill the mole. That I don't know the answer to. Oh, there he is. Left the property, you can now bury the mole hills. Mole mounds are gone, great work. And it looks like we need a weed whack right there. Otherwise, we're good. Very cool. All right, shall we take a gardening mission? Um, how about a small lawn and a pool? I haven't been home in a while and it's a bit well overgrown. I haven't got time for mowing especially because my plot is quite large. So I'll gladly hand the work over. Moreover, I'd love to have a decent swimming pool in the garden, place it near the terrace. All right. So, oh, there is a lawnmower. Well, from now on, you can make use of the lawnmower. Choose it from the tools menu. Okay. Space to or hold to mow the grass. And then walk. How do you turn? Oh, cool. Well, this is nice. I like it. Well, this is going to take a while, guys, so I'm going to pause it here. And once I'm done mowing the whole lawn, I will bring you back. All right, folks. We have completed the mowing looks great and now we need to bury and fill and buy a swing pool so let's see all right so let's go ahead and look for the swing pool garden surfaces no. Recreation. No. Architecture, maybe. No. I don't know where they keep this. Back. 
decorations, finishes, furniture, plants, services, other. All right, well, let's look for pool. So what do they want? So this is, I will say one thing I don't like about this game. So swing pool, mew line. So now I need to write, type in mew line. And why is this caps lock? With paving stone blocks. Okay. Oh, all right. So now we can install it. Somewhere in here. So let's put it toward the back. The pool must be planted in the ground. Place the pool. All right, so now we gotta dig. Okay, I wish I could dig this fast to build such a big hole. The hole is now dug, okay. Place the pool. Cover with soil. All right, fill with water. Oh, look how easy this is. Wouldn't it be nice if you could actually do this that quickly and easily? And now the swimming pool is full. All right, so now wooden sun lounger. So I need to buy that object. So decorations, water tank, so that's where that was. All right, so furniture. Let's, let's just type wooden sun lounger. Here we go. All right. So there's one. Oh, but that may not be in the right place. So we'll put this one here. I need to buy another one. I should have bought two. There we go. All tasks complete. We got 8,000 bucks. And we are now done. Good deal. Looks good. You can see how nice it looks, all mode. Very cool. Now, of course, I would build a patio or something back there, but that's not what they asked for. We could put a swimming pool in our place, huh? I'm not sure how you can set that up, though. We'll have to figure that out. All right. Now we have a bunker we could do. Save me from the bathroom and home workshop. Redecoration. House in need of renovation. Let's do house in need of renovation. After the death of my beloved wife, I sold our house as it brings back too many memories. I've decided to buy a new house and it requires some work and needs cleaning and new radiators. It's just too much work for me. I'd like to move out of my old house as soon as possible. My two daughters will be living with me. And I would like their rooms to be painted in their favorite color. Bright blue. All right. Here we go. It's nighttime again. And I think as cool as... Oh, no, it's not nighttime. I was going to say as cool as the nighttime is. I don't necessarily want to do this stuff at night. So we don't have to mow this? That's kind of silly. All right, so let's get rid of the trash. Corridor is done. All right. Takes care of that. Clean the window. And get the broom out. There we go. And then there. And clean this window. So this house isn't too bad. And we should be able to take care of it fairly quickly. All right, we're done with that window. Um, we need to buy a radiator. Buy it now and install it and assemble it. Radiators are easy to put in. Of course, not true in real life, but that's okay. All right, so we need to put furniture and paint in here, but we're gonna do that after we have completed 
all the clearing out of the garbage and the mopping up and so forth. And get the windows cleaned. Again, I wish it was the, this quick to clean a window where like you could actually do it in five minutes, or not even five minutes, in like 10 seconds like that. There is some dirt over here. It means we're going to have to move this to get at it. Ah, no, we didn't have to move that. It's upstairs, up on the top. And so we can put this stuff back. Come on. There, and this goes back there. Okay, and we got a new skill. Let's see. Hyper mop or faster cleaning? Let's do ultra hyper mop. What's that look like? Oh yeah, like a Swiffer. Okay, next room. Garbage. And now we got the ultra hyper mop. Should clean things very quickly. Next room, garbage. This house actually isn't too bad. There's some dirt on it, but it's not too bad. Alright, a little bit of dirt, but it's not so bad. Oh, and now we have the better window cleaner. Look at that. Alright. We need a towel radiator in here, so let's go ahead and buy that. It's supposed to go right there. Okay, we assemble it. go and we got another skill point for being a handyman um, let's do faster mounting because we do that a lot we haven't been doing a lot of plaster so we will need to plaster broken walls at some point but we haven't had to yet so I'm not too concerned with that particular ability right now since we're using the radiator stuff much more so right in the assembly as it were all right, so let's put in a radiator. Goes right there, and we assemble it, and we bring it down. There we go. And clean the window with our new super scrubber. Awesome. That window, every window's dirty. Much easier with the bigger one. So we have to paint this and buy some stuff for the bedroom. All right. And then we go in here and we clean this stuff up. Oh, lots of garbage in here. Okay. Now we're going to use our super mop. Look how fast. It all cleans up much more quickly. You just barely touch it and it's done. Look at that. What do we got here? Down on the floor and down on the floor. And then in here, of course, there's a bunch of dirt in this little sunroom. Looks like there's stuff outside, but I don't know that we need to clean any of the stuff outside. We do need to clean the windows, of course. We open that window, and then we clean this window nice and quick. Yeah, one of the things um, a couple people have done has have been like speed runs or try to do it in five minutes or something like that, and they do it like really fast. I'm, I'm not really that interested in doing that. I think that it's more fun to just be relaxed. 
One thing you can definitely see is, as we've skilled up, we've gotten a lot better at doing this. Okay, what do we have to do? Mount Devices Radiator. And that is here. So let's grab another one and mount it. I do like that you really, most of the time, don't have to move the furniture out of the way. Which is pretty good. Alright, so living room's done. In here, we need to mount a device. Now here we have to move this out of the way because it's back there and we have to get to it. So we mount this radiator. Today, we went off of daylight saving time and I have to tell you, I do not like it getting dark out super early at 5.30. Okay, we're done with this room, we're done with this room. Bathroom. Do we have to clean stuff? There. So we're done cleaning, we just have to mount. Um, yeah, I like it better in the summer when it's like light out for a really long time and it doesn't get dark till 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 9.30. When I lived in Seattle in the, in the peak of summer, it used to get dark almost at like 10 o'clock at night and get light at like 5 in the morning. Man, I loved that. Although I will admit, it, I did tend to get awakened very early in the morning and um, I didn't get as much sleep as I should have, but I still liked it being light out. And what I should have done was just gone to bed a little earlier, but I never do that. I do not get as much sleep as I should. Which is bad, you should you should get your seven to eight hours every night. I get, I probably get close to seven. Most nights, maybe even more than that, some nights. All right, so let's buy this radiator and put it in here. And got this taken care of. All right. So we want to paint this room and we got to clean this other window. There we go. So this is mostly going to be painting now. We've cleaned the whole house, I believe. All right, folks, I'm going to pause this while I paint and I will bring you back when it's time to buy some furniture. All right, folks, we have painted all of the rooms and now it is time to buy furniture. So you want a double bed Hermes, a wardrobe Vira, a double chest of drawers Mal, and a bookcase Lim. So let's start with the double bed Hermes. And let's see, we got blue in here. I think white wood with, let's see, we've got some gray. That's it. Maybe this kind of wood. All right, let's try that. One of the things people do complain about is that it's hard, often hard to match the furniture. Um, we should be okay with that. All right, so now we need a wardrobe Vira, a double chest of drawers Mal, and a bookcase Limb. It's gonna be hard to get all that stuff in here. Isn't it Myra? Vira. All right, so I guess we're gonna go with this kind of wood. right there and then we need a bookcase limb and we will go with that kind of wood we can put the bookcase it's kind of a tight squeeze but look they decided they want this furniture in here so a double chest of drawers mal And that looks about right. And we'll put that right there. So now they're happy. That doesn't look too bad. I probably wouldn't have decorated it that way, but we're, we're giving them what they're asking for. So in here, 
We're going to buy a bed solid. Type, type it correctly. So a bed solid. All right. So in the Navy room, these are daughters. How about that? And uh, should we do a wooden frame? White frame, I don't think that looks good. Let's try a pine frame. Put this bed over here. All right. And then we need a computer desk. Computer desk. All right, again, the light wood, I think, looks good here. Uh, should we put it maybe under the window? Office chair. And let's give her a white one. There we go. And a wardrobe, Charles, and a chest of drawers, Mal. So, Charles. Again, I think the light wood goes well in here. And then we want the Mal chest of drawers. That's good. And now we have one more room. We've done this one. Uh, where's the other room? Here we go. So in here we need, again, this is the same stuff. So a chest of drawers, Mal. Let's do this one with white wood. Right there. And we need a computer desk. Let's look at the recently viewed. Here we go, computer desk. We're going to do white wood. And we'll put that right here. That looks fine. And we need our office chair. I think the office chair will do something darker for her. Maybe blue. Okay. And then we need the bed solid. And let's do that one. So we can put it right there. And then we need the wardrobe Charles. Again, white wood. And we'll put that right there. And we have completed our job, guys. 100% complete, 11,000 bucks. So look at the difference. I really like these before and after shots. You really get a sense of how the room looks nicer. How everything's better after it's been done. Look at that. Very, very nice. It's the hallway. Now, we didn't do the outside. The outside looked like it could use a trimming. But they didn't ask us to do that, so we've completed our task. And one thing it hasn't done is shown me how to trim the hedges. I don't know if you can do that. And we're back to our house, which does not look like this anymore. In fact, our house looks like this, which is pretty cool. Our account balance is 87,000 bucks now, and we have 13 missions left to do. But I will do more next time with you guys. Because we're already at 40 minutes. So we have 80,000, 87,000 bucks. We got 13 missions to go. I think um, we're gonna gain more abilities as we go. There's still one item locked on the outside, inside, and if we go out into the gardening, um, there's still something locked out here as well. Two things locked. So we still need to do some uh, do some more missions to unlock some of that. But I think things are looking pretty well in here. Until next time, guys. I am Scrapperlock, and this has been House Flipper.